Okay, so now what we're going to talk about is trees and grass. <clears throat> now, trees and grass are actually 3D objects. Uh, and I've had students in the past who found the objects in the standard assets folder and they tried placing them in the scene one at a time. And it works, but it's not the right way to do it. It's not a good way to do it. So, the easiest way to add trees is actually through the terrain itself. You click on the terrain, I'm going to hit the F key, which will recenter everything and reset my zoom scale. Okay, I'm going to put some trees up here on the plateau. Um, over here, once the, with the terrain selected, over here in the inspector, some of you may have noticed there's a tree button and a plants, stones, and other small foliage button. We're going to deal with both of those in a second. But the trees, let's click on the trees, and it's just like a texture. It's kind of cool. You can paint trees just like a texture. So I'll click on the tree button, go down here to edit trees, you add the tree, and then it opens up this window. And it's a little different. I remember trying to click here and it wasn't doing anything. Like, what's going on? Anytime you see this little target here, that's Unity telling you click on this to add something to this space. You can also drag the tree from the project file into here or the project folders into here but the easiest thing is to click the target once you click the target you'll see this opens up and you'll see you have an option of four trees by default in unity there are more you can download out of the unity store when you do that you must be very very careful that any object that you download has been tested and made to work with the Unity version that we've got. We're running 2017.1 right now. Last year it was version 5, so apparently they've changed the numbering scheme for the, uh, for the program. That makes sense. I like the year numbering scheme a little bit better anyway. Um, so if you see a tree that says Unity version 2 or Unity version 3, I would hesitate to, to download it. There were some people last year in one of my classes that downloaded it, installed it, and as soon as it went into the folder, it crashed. And he was never able to open his game again. We deleted the trees out of his assets folder. It still would never allow it. It was some file that we couldn't find that was crashing his game. He had to start all over again. So luckily he did that in the beginning. You know, luckily that was right in the very beginning as he was creating the terrain and we just knew never to do that again. So I do caution you on the use of the uh, asset store with Unity. Just watch your, your, uh, your versions, okay? Um, but anyway, here's how you go about doing it. So let's just use the conifer. It's a good one, so I double click, I click add, and then you see I've got this big huge brush. Probably want it down a little bit, okay? And you see the brush size is here and tree density is here, and then you have a variable of tree height. And the bottom slider is how high the smallest trees will be, and the top slider is the height of the tallest trees. Um, and you can click in the middle and keep the variance the same, but just slide it up and down the scale. Um, uh, with conifers, you probably want a little bit of variance there. 80 is pretty dense, but let's just go with it and I'll just uh, you know, paint. Now, looks good, right? Yeah, but I mean, are they tall enough? Are they dense enough? Like, what really is going on? You cannot really tell until you go and test it with your first person uh, character. So I'm going to go click on my first person controller and let's go move my FPS controller over here to be a little closer to the um, trees so that I don't have to walk as far. And now we'll just go, and I'm going to turn around. Oh, yeah, those are a little tall. I kind of knew they were going to be. That also is incredibly dense, and you're probably noticing I'm getting some frame lag now. Now, part of that is because I'm driving a 4K monitor and a 1080p projector at the same time, and these Quadro graphics cards are not the fastest when it comes to this sort of thing. They're precise, but they're not the fastest. Um, you know, on a good 1070 or a 1080 or a 1060 even, or even a 1050, you'd probably be able to push the trees out very easily. But um, we want to design this so that there's not that kind of a lag. So you've got to be careful of that. The density is a little thick, I think. So hit escape, 
and they're also way too tall. So now what I can do is click back on the terrain, select the terrain again, go back to the trees, I can select the tree and I can hold the shift key down and I can erase them. So that's kind of nice, shift key and it erases. And now I'm going to take the tree density down a lot and take my tree height down a lot. And I always keep random checked, but you could uncheck that. I, I don't know why you'd want to, because then they're all the same height. And I think that that would look unnatural. But I, you know, I mean, I suppose there might be some applications for a game where you literally wanted the tree to be every same height. But I don't know what that would be. So now I'll take my brush size back down again, and I'll paint that. That looks pretty cool. Let's take a look. That looks a lot better. And you'll notice there's not really a lot of frame lag right now. So that's, that's doing pretty well. And I can walk around amongst the trees. Notice they do have a collider on them, so you cannot walk through. If they're really small like this, like there's no gap, I can't walk through. Okay, and just kind of be mindful of that. You might want that, right? But just be mindful of that. Okay, that, those look pretty good. That looks pretty good. If you want even smaller trees, then all you got to do is again, click here and set that random tree height down even further. Looks like every time I click on it, it resets the tool. That's a little frustrating. Also a thing that you usually want to keep is random tree rotation, and you want the width to be the same as the height. Now, I could see some options where you wouldn't want that checked. Where if you wanted really tall, skinny trees, like you were making the redwood forest, these conifers would be really good for a redwood forest. You might not want that. You might want them really tall and skinny. Okay, so you could uncheck that and see how that works for you. I don't know. It might not work at all. Let's try another tree. Edit trees. Add another one. Click the little target, and let's add the broadleaf. There's a palm tree, and then this this second broadleaf is actually mobile version. We're designing for our desktop, so I'm not going to worry about that one. There we go. Scale that down a little bit. Maybe make some really short ones to some really tall ones here. And again, density, you know, pretty far down. Okay. And now I've kind of put some trees, and, and you can paint in amongst too. And it, they, they, uh, it, it's pretty smart. It doesn't really, you know, if you've got too much density, you might have problems, but it, it should be good. So let's take a look at how that looks. So now what's funny is that's a lot more dense than I thought it was going to be, you know? And so again, this is where you have got to have your first person controller in the game and ready to go to kind of test it. The other thing is, look at this. So wherever you paint, it will put a tree, even on a cliff, a vertical face, down at the bottom of a, of a, of a pond. It'll still paint the tree, okay? So you have to be mindful of that. And I can erase those trees right there without erasing all of them. Um, and that looks pretty good. Getting a little frame lag here now too. Um, but again, I'm recording, pushing to a 4K monitor and a 1080p projector at the same time. So, f you know, this probably wouldn't have much frame lag when you guys were doing it back at your desktop. So does this make sense? Um, and, and, and basically doing uh, long grass, I'll do a demo on long grass, which is here. We'll, we'll deal with that one later, but it's essentially the same, except you can't always see it. So we'll talk about that in a separate demo.